Zip has some really cool options for sharing palettes as well. Makes it really easy to share across teams. Uh, if, if all the teams are using SIP, then you can share that palette directly. And if we export this, whoops, not export, but save to desktop, you're going to get something like this, uh, anything.palette, it's the name. If I double click on this, it actually gets re-imported back into SIP. So I can share this and people can just get to work. Really nice. Some other options that we have, we can export to SAS or CSS if we're doing that very quickly, save to desktop. We can export as HTML, very cool, save it out to desktop. All of these, all of these are very good options. So we can just go through and uh, save a bunch of them. Did I already do that? Whoops, there it is. And now we have these. So if we look at this in, let's say, yeah, Visual Studio Code. And when it opens up, we get all of our different options. Very fast, very easy. It adds them as hex code, which again, I prefer they were HSL, but that's just me. Uh, but very quick to use that. Uh, the PDF is exactly that. It's just a very simple PDF. The colors are in there. It displays as hexadecimal and RGBA. So we could share this with the client and say, are these the colors you're looking for? Yes, no, maybe. And then of course the HTML file uh, displays exactly that. The cool thing about the HTML file is that if we share this out, I can actually add these to SIP directly. So I can click this little icon, or any of this actually, and it will add it to SIP. I can also send the entire palette to SIP, which is really nice. You can see uh, down in my status bar, it says uh, SIP colon slash slash palette, anything RGBA, and it's got a bunch of values in there and it will add it to uh, my SIP palette system. So a lot of useful export features. I use a few of them in different instances. This one I would share with a client. Uh, the other ones like SCSS, I might use that to quickly prototype something.